Well, after seven years and two ventures, a West Louisville business closing up shop. Way 3 News reporter Cedra Mayfield joins us now live from Genesis Beauty and Barber Shop. And Cedra, a location, I guess, playing a role in all of this. Yeah, when it comes to staying in business, it's been said that location is everything. And while this industrial area at 17th and Maple may have worked when this building was a trucking facility, it's now taking a toll on the beauty salon and barbershop housed here. It was named Genesis for a new beginning. And it sure was for a lot of people. Nestled in an industrial West Louisville neighborhood, Larry Roberts has managed Genesis Barbershop since it opened in 2010. Monday, he found himself weighing his options. Maybe finding a spot local in the area. Learning just minutes prior, he'd soon be without a job. He wasn't used a lot at all. We, we thought that if you build it, they'll come. Genesis Beauty and Barbershop owner Charlie Johnson says that hasn't been the case. After converting his trucking business into the 10,000 plus square foot salon at the request of his late wife, Johnson says staff and clients progressively dwindled. Factor in a less than prime location. If it had been in another area. And Johnson says finances only got worse. Porter Bank owns the building. Uh, I didn't get it refinanced. I didn't pay rent. So basically they told me to shut it down. I have to think positive. Gloria Babbage owns and operates the Genesis Beauty Supply located next door, a business she bought from Johnson last November. While her store is spared, her sales could take a hit. You can always count on them next door, so it was a good thing to have them next door. You did something good for us, though. Yeah, all right. That partnership now coming to an end. Once it's over, it's over. I mean, yeah, you, you try it. As staff prepare to move on. Uh, I want to wish everybody luck. Leaving Genesis behind. This shop will close its doors to the public next Wednesday, March 12th. At that time, Johnson tells me he'll sell as much of the equipment that he owns as possible. Live in Louisville, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News. Thanks, Cedra.